And sa video na to, alamin natin ang latest related sa travel ban dito sa Japan. Ngayong September 14, ano nga bang bago? Alamin ninyo sa video na to, kaya panoorin natin ito. Hi guys, this is Alan. Welcome back to this channel, Gaijin World. Ito. So and guys, according sa Kyodo News, Japan to balance easing border controls with COVID countermeasures. The Japanese government said Monday it must strike a balance between opening up to foreign travelers while keeping the coronavirus pandemic in check as it looks to revive the world's third largest economy which has been hard hit by the absence of tourists. So nagpaplano ang Japan ngayon na i-balance daw ang pagpasok na mas nakararaming mga foreigners or travelers dito sa Japan at yung pagkontrol ng COVID-19 cases dito sa Japan. Ano nga ba yung kanilang mga hakbang na gagawin? Alamin natin yan sa mga susunod na araw pero ito sabi nila, Japan has faced criticism at home and abroad for failing to keep pace with other group of seven nations in opening borders as well as requiring those who do visit to obtain visas and wear masks at all times during their trip. Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno said or told a press conference Monday that the government will consider how to alleviate COVID-19 restrictions while maintaining a balance between preventing the spread of infection and promoting social media economic activities. Dahil marami pa rin naman talaga, in fact, marami pa rin talaga ang hindi makapasok ngayon dahil sa higpit ng protocol ng Japan. Although, Recently, starting September 7, ay nagbago na, yung kanilang, nagbago na yung kanilang rules pagdating sa mga travelers na merong COVID na, uh, sa mga travelers na merong 3 doses of COVID vaccines ay mas madali na silang makakapasok dito dahil hindi na sila i-require na mag PCR test. So hindi na rin sila ni-require yung may mga third dose ng vaccines or yung mga approved vaccines ng Japan kung meron kayo niyan ay hindi na kayo i-require na magpa-PCR test prior your departure to Japan. Matsuno's remarks came a day after Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Seiji Kihara said in a television appearance that the government is reviewing its border control policy of keeping daily entries below 50,000 and will remove it in the not-so-distant future. So, in-announce nga recently, starting September, na dadagdagan na nila yung daily arrivals from 20,000 daily arrivals to 50,000. And, mangyayari din daw ay magkakaroon din ng uh, changes in a not-so-distant future. So, in the future, ay matatanggal din daw yung mga daily cap entries na yan para mas marami pang makapasok dito. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's government will simultaneously relax other regulations including the visa requirement, Kihara added. Matsun said the government will continue to make appropriate decisions based on the infection situation both at home and abroad as well as the needs of travelers and border steps implemented by the other major economies. Last Wednesday, Japan increased its daily entry cap on arrivals from 20,000 to 50,000. Also, incoming travelers who have been vaccinated at least three times do not need to take coronavirus tests within 72 hours of departure and show proof they are not infected. So sa mga hindi pa nakapanood ng mga previous videos ko na related sa pagpasok dito sa Japan, yung mga may COVID vaccines na supported or yung mga approved COVID vaccines dito sa Japan like Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Janssen, Biotech, at yung ibang hinakalimutan ko na pero wala pa rin dyan as of the moment yung Sinovac. So kung meron kayong 3 doses ng, of any combinations ng mga nabanggit ko, ay ayan, makakapasok kayo dito nang hindi nyo na kailangang magpa-PCR test. In 2021, only 245,900 foreign visitors entered Japan. The lowest figure since comparable data became available in 1964, delivering a significant blow to the country's travel industry which had been heavily reliant on inbound tourists before the pandemic began in early 2020. 
And sa ibang balita naman, related pa rin sa travel ban dito sa Japan, Japan approves improved COVID-19 vaccines. The Japanese Health Ministry gave its approval Monday to improve COVID-19 vaccines effective against Omicron variants. The government is expected to begin administering the improved vaccines developed by Pfizer and Moderna as early as next week. So nung nabasa ko yung news na to, akala ko ay may madadagdag na mga bagong brand ng vaccines pero hindi pala ganun. So hindi naman pala yun yung uh, tinutukoy nila. So pa, ang ibig pa lang silang sabihin dito ay mas uh, mataas yung effectivity ng mga vaccines na idinevelop ng Pfizer and Moderna. At yun yung ipagagamit sa mga magpapavaccine dito sa Japan as early as next week. The improved vaccines will first be used as a replacement for conventional versions in fourth shots for elderly people and others expected to total about 15 million. From mid-October, coverage will be expanded to include people aged 12 and older who have completed their second shots. Overseas clinical trials have shown that a fourth shot using the improved Pfizer vaccine produced 1.56 times more neutralizing antibodies than a conventional vaccine and that the improved Moderna vaccine 1.75 times more. At alamin naman natin kung anong lagay ng COVID cases dito sa Japan. According sa news, Japan logs nearly 700,000 new COVID-19 cases in the past week. Japan confirmed 696,072 new COVID-19 19 cases in the past week down by 231,507 from the preceding week. The country's cumulative COVID-19 cases including those among cruise ship passengers and crew members came to 20,174,557 as of 10 a.m. Monday, 1 a.m. GMT. By prefecture, Tokyo had the most weekly cases with 67,968, followed by Osaka with 54,036, Aichi with 47,499, Kanagawa with 36,710, and Saitama with 34,946. Japan's COVID-19 total death toll rose by 1,563 to 42,675. The weekly gain shrank by 428 from the previous week. Unti-unti nang bumababa yung cases sa ngayon ng mga nagkaka-COVID dito. So and guys, I hope nagustuhan nyo ang video na to. Kung nagustuhan nyo, please like this video, mag-comment na din kayo at i-share nyo na rin to sa mga naghihintay ng update related sa travel ban dito sa Japan. Please like, share, and subscribe. Kung nakasubscribe ka na, thank you so much for watching. At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na at i-hit mo yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aming mga susunod pang i-upload ng mga videos at sa mga interested sa ibang mga topics namin related sa pamumuhay dito sa Japan. I-check nyo aming YouTube homepage, punta nyo yung playlist dahil marami kaming playlist dyan na makakatulong sa inyong pamumuhay dito sa Japan. Thank you so much again for watching. This is Alan and I will see you on our next video. Huwag niyong kalimutang i-check yung mga videos na lalabas na ngayon dito sa screen. Ayan na. Bye!